Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? So, Saggy, let's get into this. Um, it looks like you're facing a loss, Sagittarius. Uh, something needs to come to an end, okay? You have the Ten of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords, and then you have the Knight of Swords with the Queen of Wands, and at the, yeah, and at the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Cups. And then underneath the Five of Cups, you have the Nine of Pentacles, and then you have the Three of Swords underneath that. There needs to be some sort of ending, a stop to a toxic, karmic relationship. And I got confused for a moment because I just did your love reading, which is going to be over on uh, Patreon. Um, and, um, and I thought I was, I, I was kind of, I was seeing the, the symbol of Capricorn in my head and I didn't realize that that's what I was doing until now when I just started to do your spirit monthly messages. I was like, wait a second. No, that's Capricorn. I need Sagittarius is the archer, right? Um, is the centaur. So, um, so I, re I, I, I refocused and I'm channeling your message and now I know it's, it's fine. Now, it, maybe you're married to a Capricorn or maybe you have Capricorn in your chart somewhere in some sort of major placement. But no, this is a similar message to what came through in the love reading. There is a toxic situation here that needs to be let go of. Oh, hold on. Sorry, Sag. <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, I, I, you know, Sagittarius, I'm hearing this is a toxic marriage. And that makes perfect sense because you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles can represent the family, can re represent um, a marriage, you know, a physical marriage with somebody. And what I'm seeing here with this toxic karmic relationship is what Spirit is saying very clearly. Toxic karmic relationship. Somebody needs to cut this out and finish this and, and turn and, and complete this cycle, complete this situation. And then with this nine of swords here on top of that, I feel like you've known you've needed to complete this for the longest time, but you are resisting doing so because of all of the three, the three other cups that are going to spill, be spilled out. But here's the thing, Sagittarius, all is not lost here with the five of cups. All is not lost. You still have two cups behind you. All right. All is not lost. And quite frankly, some of you need to be single and on your own and thriving and doing whatever it is you need to do and clearing up your energetic space so that you can get what you want, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, for me as a reader, is a physical embodiment of the law of attraction. Now, this doesn't have to be a toxic marriage. This doesn't have to be a marriage for you. This, I mean, again, this is a general reading, but Spirit has was saying very clearly, this is a toxic either karmic marriage or karmic relationship okay and if you're on patreon then you might really want to check out that love reading and if you're not on patreon i am uh, you might want to think about it <laughs> all right sag i'm gonna give this one more shuffle and then we'll get into that yeah uh link to my patreon account can be found in the description box below patreon.com slash divine conversations all righty kids let's do it Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of August 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Sagittarius. Five shuffles. One. Two. Three.
and five. Sagittarius. Boop. Okay. Sorry, guys. I gotta pause again for one second. All right, Saggy. Sorry about that. Let's get into this. So, overall energy. Mm, Sag. Overall energy. We're starting you with the Ten of Swords again. Ooh, honey, you've got to bring this to a close. Six of Cups. Yes. I'm hearing this was a karmic soulmate. This is a karmic soulmate. With that, you have the Queen of Pentacles. And underneath the deck, you've got, at the very bottom of everything, you've got the Two of Swords. Baby, check this out. Some of you or someone, it, and this really could be a Capricorn, okay? Or you could have some sort of Capricorn energy within your chart. You might want to look at what house Capricorn is in for you. Um, and you do that from your rising sign. I suggest you use the sidereal chart, not the tropical, but that's your choice. Uh, look to see what house uh, uh, Capricorn might be in for you. That could give you a clue as to what area this of this, uh, uh, what area of your life this is speaking to. Um, I, I just heard it is home and family for someone out there. Um, you're refusing to see something, Capricorn. Capricorn, shit, I'm sorry, Sagittarius, you're refusing to see something, or you have been refusing to see something. Um, and also what the Two of Swords is saying to me is you have got to look at this from a different point of view. You've got to see, you've got to look past the illusion of the physical reality and see things, work on seeing this from an internal point of view, from an energetic point of view, from your mind's eye to really perceive of what's going on here. Because I feel like whomever is represented by this Queen of Pentacles energy, which also could be a spouse, it could be a wife or, or a husband, even if, they, um, even if they represent more of the feminine energy. We're not talking gender here, but this is, a, this is the wife archetype with the Queen of Pentacles. Someone is deceiving you here, or someone is not keeping up their end of the bargain. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles should probably be in reverse. And I, feel, I also feel like you're allowing something about the past, whether that be you guys have been together since like you're, you were high school or college sweethearts, or you, ha you feel some really strong, deep connection with this person, or you have a past life relationship with this person. I, I, well, you most likely have a past life relationship with this individual, but I feel like you are allowing this to blind you to the truth of what's going on, really going on in this marriage, in this circumstance, in this relationship, okay? But someone, very specifically, regardless of what type of situation this is for you, Saji, Someone is not keeping up their end of the bargain and they are being manipulative about it potentially They are maybe trying to make you think that they are when in reality they aren't Okay First set of surrounding energies for you Sagittarius we have Four of Wands home and family your home your stability with this Four of Wands, I do want to say, with, I, I definitely want to say here, Sagittarius, that with this Four of Wands, I feel like you've come to a new state of groundedness or foundation within your own self, which is allowing you the opportunity to really start to see this for what it is and bring this situation to a close with the Ten of Swords being the very first card in your overall energy, right? But then this also could deal with your house and your family life. And I'm hearing some of you are going to be moving. Some are going to be, some of you are going to need to move, whether you are married to this person or you have like a live-in boyfriend or girlfriend, or like you are, you guys are. I, I, I kind of, I kind of get the strongest feeling that for some of you out there, this has something to do with you owning some sort of property with someone. So this definitely could be a business relationship, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm feeling things like maybe a home, a house, an apartment, something like that in which you guys cohabitate, and now somebody's going to have to move. And quite frankly, I kind of want to say, you know what? You might just want to find yourself a spot somewhere else and not even worry about trying to force that person, the other person, even if they're doing you wrong, try not even to force that other person to leave the, leave the space, leave the house, leave the apartment. You may just want to pack up your shit and go somewhere else so that y'all can work this out. And if you are getting divorced, maybe part of the stipulations of the divorce are that you get the house or something like that. I don't know, but right now it's not worth, it's not worth fighting for. 
because that's only going to make the situation more difficult, okay? Four of Wands is coupled with the Four of Cups. Yep, you are not satisfied here. You are not satisfied here. Someone is not satisfied here. Someone is bored, bored to tears, I want to say. But also, this is you or someone missing out on an opportunity because you have come to this sense of deep connection and maybe even deep commitment towards yourself. Ah. Or it could be that you have the opportunity to do that right now by setting the record straight, dealing with something that had needed to be dealt with a long time ago. Okay. Just because you are facing the fact of having to leave someone or having to put a relationship or a circumstance to an end, that does not mean that it's necessarily a bad thing. And, and, and quite frankly, it feels like this is a good thing because the Ten of Swords is your first overall energy, your first card of your own overall energy. So how could this be bad, Sag? You're rejecting the offer of unconditional love that the Ace, that the Ace of Cups provides to you, that the universe is trying to provide to you. I just heard set the record straight. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Sagittarius. The Two of Cups. And the feeling that I get from this Two of Cups right now, Saggy, is that there is a potential relationship, a much better partnership that's on the horizon for you. But in order for you to get to that, you've got to let go of the toxic stuff first. Two of Cups is, a, is coupled with there you go. There you go. The Nine of Pentacles. Uh, you've got to be single in order to manifest the ideal relationship that you want. That's what I'm hearing. Now, um, it's not necessary. I mean, you, you've got to be single in order to, to be prepared for it. You've got to get on your own. You've got to be established on your own. You've got to stand on your own two feet. And maybe, maybe this, this relationship that you're needing to move out of, move away from here is based on codependent foundations. Ugh. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't want to be in a codependent relationship anymore, then you've got to get out of that one. Let all the toxicity subside and drain out of your system so that you can align with the proper ideal relationship that lacks codependency, right? Because the Nine of Pentacles is a very independent energy. But the Nine of Pentacles is also an energy of um, being rewarded for work done well. For hard work too, okay? Your challenge, Sagittarius, in the first half of your reading is the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this could be a, very, a slow and arduous process, especially if it's a divorce. But you're just going to have to follow through. You're going to have to persevere. You're going to have to see this through. You're just going to have to do what you have to do. And if you have to let go of some comforts in, the, in order to do that, and so be it, because ultimately it's going to pay off because it's going to get you where you ultimately want to be. So you might need to make some sacrifices for the time being, but that's all right. You'll get it back. Knight of Pentacles is coupled with the Magician. So really, Sagittarius, your challenge right now is to work on the process of manifesting something new. You got to start. You got to start. Uh, 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 step one, identify what, identify what step one is. If you want to plan it out and, and, and try and identify all the steps that you'll potentially need to take, okay, great, let's do that. You can definitely do that. Map, create yourself a nice little roadmap. The Knight of Pentacles really approves of that one. But then you have to allow space for the universe to work within that roadmap. That's not ultimately going to be 100% the full plan, but at least you have, you're prepared should, should, you know, something go a little awry or something and you know ultimately where you're trying to go so that you can figure out how to acclimate, right? That's being in this magician energy as well, okay? So, but right now, your challenge, Sagittarius, is to focus on where it is you want to go and then take the action steps to get there. The art of manifestation is not all passive. You don't stay in your, um, in your feeling place forever. At some point, there are some steps you're going to have to take in order to continue to facilitate because we are co-creating with the universe. Okay. 
a uh, closing message or potential outcome here, Saggy, in the first half of your reading. Two of Pentacles. All right. Strike the balance. Things are imbalanced here. Things are imbalanced, imbalanced here. So you've got to do whatever it takes to balance the situation out. And if that means leaving someone, then that means leaving someone. Two of Pentacles is coupled with. Strength. Having the strength to strike a balance. Okay, Sag, I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to go over to Patreon and we're going to finish this out. We're going to get your Spirit Monthly Part 2. If you're new to me and you don't know about my Patreon page, I highly recommend that you check it out. The link is in the description box below, patreon.com slash divine conversations. There are two tiers. First tier is $5 a month, strictly Spirit Monthly Messages Part 2. Second tier is $7 a month where you get Spirit Messages Part 2 and the love readings and everything else I do over there. Yep. Yeah? All right, Sagittarius. So with that said, if I don't see you over there, thank you still so much for being here with us. I hope this was helpful for you. And I love you so much. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of September. Yep. Yeah? Take care. Bye. <laughs>